What's up guys, Mark back here for episode 9 of the New York Rangers franchise mode. I know I haven't uploaded recently in the last two weeks. Pardon me. Um, it's mainly because I just started getting sick. Yeah, I know, coronavirus, blah, 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 blah. It's not that. Anywho. Um, and I've been doing some work around the house, yay, being a homeowner. So that's the reason why the videos have been, haven't been uploaded in two weeks. We've been, like, redoing some of the floor upstairs. So, anywho, as we get back into the Rangers franchise mode, I realized when I started this recording that my, uh, Yeti was not picking anything up, and you've only missed about two games. Uh, basically, in that, I was just saying that, um, some people are asking why I don't, like, play the game, like, play the games or anything like that. As much as I would like to, um... It just gets repetitive after a while. It's just playing the exact same games. It's it's just not as fun, to be honest with you. If they made it, um, what's a good way to put it? it? Like, in Madden, like, how they have, like, the critical moments kind of thing. If you don't know looking up, or if you don't know what I'm talking about, just look it up on YouTube and stuff like that. Basically, in Madden, it'll be like, it's a third down. Make a stop here. Would you like to play or sim it? Kind of thing. Kind of like that. But, um, yeah, I... And with Be a Pro, it's been the same since this generation of consoles have come about. I mean, if NHL 21 uh, comes out on the PS5 and stuff like that, which I we all know I'm going to pre-order and stuff like that. Um, if it comes out on the PS5 and it's got different Be a Pro features, I will uh, start a Be a Pro then. But until then, it, it, I can whenever I play drop-ins or anything like that, I can upload highlights. But anyway... As we get in, you've only missed a couple games, and apparently Henrik Lundqvist is injured with a torn groin, and he's going to be out, uh, I'm going to say two weeks. Um, so we can just call up, uh, just call up Redmond for now, uh, edit lines, yes, thank you. Uh, goalies, thank you. Yeah, right now we just have, uh, as all the players, because yeah, he led the team. We have, if you can't even, you can't even see it because everybody got, everybody's in the AHL is upset. Anywho, Jonas Johansson is going to be our goalie for a little while until um, Lundqvist comes back. And I did notice, um, if you guys are aware, this is the day one, like, EA Access 10 hour trial before Fox, before... Everybody, before Shiskarin, I believe is the name of the goalie, don't quote me on that, it's Baby Flower. Um, before he got updated, and the guy that I'm quote-unquote replacing him with is in the uh, OHL or WHL with, with the Medicine Hat Tigers, so I can't use him just yet. Um, Hogberg there, and then we just randomly signed this Troja guy. Lovely. Anywho, um, so we're just going to have Jonas Johansson go for a little while, for a month. Johan, it may be a little bit of a tank, but hey, we might get a better draft pick out of this. Um, cool. Winnipeg is placing Snowson on waivers. Um, I'm gonna decline that one. I'm really not interested in. Oh my god, we lost 11 to 4 to Vancouver. What the hell are we doing? Alrighty then. Uh, another guy just gets injured and stuff like that. So far, we're not doing terribly. I mean,. 7-3 to the Capitals and 5-1 to the Capitals is not good, but... Um, good news is, uh, Lundqvist will be coming back around here. Um, we start out 3-7-1 after the first month. Uh, not good, but... And Bushnevitz is so far our top point getter with 10 points. Um, where in the heck is Panarin? And Kako, for that matter. Panarin, 9-11, and Kapo Kako, 8-11. Not... Good yet. As you guys might remember, Papa Kako. He played half the year in the AHL and half the year in the NHL for me. He was over a point a game player, but he got injured, which kind of derailed our season at that point. He's up, he's up to an 83, so that's awesome. Um, he's already higher than Bushnevitz. Anywho, um, so we can look around the trade block to see if there's any, like, I don't want to say loner goalies. Um... But, yeah, pretty much loner goalies. Um, browse trading blocks. Uh, I'll cut this part out. Okay, so, I'm searching a trade block. I found a couple different options, but then I come across this 21-year-old uh, Russian goaltender, Ivan Pro Prozvitov. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing the name. He's on a two-way deal. He is Russian, and he's a young goalie that... 
he only played one game in the NHL last year, and he won. Um, it looks like he got traded from Tucson. The got traded from the Coyotes. Yeah, he got traded from the Coyotes to the Devils. So that is probably what we're gonna try to go for. Um, hmm. He doesn't have that much trade value, which always is a good thing. Um, hmm. And the guy that we have in the CHL that is going to be amazing next year is Mad Sogard. Um, yeah, I'm really happy that I got him. Um, cool. Um, Harry Pirinen, our third round pick of this year. Not terrible, but not the greatest. So far, 11 and 2 with the Spitfires. Um, lovely. So, we could probably add him to the trade. Um, and we do have a... We do have an extra spot for a goalie. Will they take this trade? Trade accepted! Okay, so we have a actual halfway decent backup goalie. I'll take it. I wasn't expecting them to, uh, accept that right away. So, what we can do is now go to goalies. Uh, is he immediately NHL? Or no, he's AHL starting. Lovely. Uh, roster moves. Thank you. Go with goalies. We can go Redmond down below, and we can go Pro Prozvatov up. Uh, cool. Nobody, I think, wanted him, so unfortunate for him. Hey, goalie. Uh, Hoogberg. And Redman again. Cool. Redman, you got your 20 minutes in the NHL. How do you feel? I feel great. Anywho, in the AHL, we actually have some pretty damn good people. Tim Gettinger, Gabe Velarde, which I'm really happy about. I think we got him in the offseason, to be honest with you. Yeah, we got him in the uh, offseason. They didn't want him, and I'm like, I'll take him. Ty Ronning, who I think is actually going to be halfway decent. Um, Six points so far in nine games. Tim Gettinger, just a head Oh, why is Tim Gettinger both? Why is he that and that? Do we not have another person? Hello? I'm so confused right now. Why is a 46 overall guy playing? Okay, Joey Keen, there you go, buddy. I'm extremely confused right now. Uh, what? Um, yeah, I don't know how to make this actually work. Gibson replace him? But then I have to scratch Gibson? Oh no, I can... Dress Gettinger, then put Gettinger there. There we go. That works that. That works for there. Cool. That out. That all works out for the AHL. Wow, that was longer than what I needed to be. Too many dress skaters for the AHL? What the hell? Um, I'm literally just going to best lines for them. Errors in the NHL. No shit. Jonas Johansson is a 72 rated so far, but we have Prozatov. Ivan Prozatov is a low fringe starter, but you get the opportunity now, buddy. All right, let's sim up to when uh, Lundqvist comes back. Which is, if I'm not mistaken, it's set around the 16th. Lovely. 3-7-1. Let's... Okay, 5 nothing loss. Not good. 8-1. Oh, gee. Hello! I thought I turned player conversations off. Pavel Buznevich has something to talk- I'm not happy with the team's performance. Um, I'm not happy with how the team is per performing lately. We need to fix this. I thought I turned this off. Did they reset everything? Um. Um. Um, let's try and persuade him. I think you need to stay patient and trust the process, Boosh. We got this. I'm willing to trust the process and step up to help turn this 
team around. Good talk. Yes, good job. So, plus one morale. I don't know what the hell that actually fucking means. Hold on. I don't want to have them conversations again, even though we've become absolute dog doo-doo. Um, I thought I turned this all off. Um, and what's making it even worse, my cat is making it uh, really hard to see. Um, lovely. Um, CPU trades on. Waiver notifications on. Waivers on. Morale meetings. Why is that there? Why was that there? I turned that off because it kind of affects the game. And honestly, I just want to see how we do. Okay. So player conversations is fun. So it, we can continue assimilating up to the time that Lundquist comes back. Hopefully my cat doesn't knock anything over. Thank God he doesn't. Oh God, the Oilers are trying to trade us Lucas Sabiza for two fourth round picks. I'm going to decline that one. Okay, cool. Uh, Lundquist is actually back. And in his couple games with us, uh, Prozatov, who's, uh, is 0-1. Apparently, Johansson has gotten more of the starts. Uh, Johansson, you're gonna be replaced with, uh, Mr. Lundquist. A third and a fourth for Jan Ruta. Um, do we really need defensive help? Let's take a look at this. The Kings want their fourth round pick back. I can understand why they are doing that. So we have Skay and Truba, who I think Brady Skay got traded, if I'm not mistaken. Let me know if you want to keep that realistic and let me trade uh, Brady Skay out. Um, Lingren, Halleck, Juice, and Cece. I don't think I need another Jan Ruta-esque. 30 years old, 3 years left on his deal, and he's injured. Why would I want to trade nothing for an injured guy? Okay, so, now that we actually, uh, hello. Lovely. Carolina wants, uh, this year's third and next year's seventh for two fourth and a Bunieves. I'm gonna decline that immediately. Um, now that Lundquist is back, we can sit in the rest of the month. Um, yeah, this is not going as well as I thought it might. Third and next year's fourth. And now they come in with a goalie offer. For next year's third, this year's fifth, and now it's Staylock. If we didn't already get pros or Prozitiv, Prozitiv, Prozitiv? Question mark. If we didn't already get him, I would say yes, but I have to decline that. They only offered him because we won three nothing. Lovely. Uh, Sean Daly just hit best lines for the AHL. I mean, we went on a three four game winning streak, so that hello, the Los Angeles Kings have fired head coach Mario Bergeron. I love the random names they come up with. Hmm. Let's stop the simulation and see if he's actually any halfway decent. I mean, probably not, but, um, higher staff. Is he an A plus? No, he's not. He's an A minus. Lovely. So, no. As compared to our guy, their guy is an A minus, and our guy's a B, but he won the Jack Adams, so I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna swap head coaches just yet. If the team performs terribly around the trade block, yes. Alright, so it continues to into the end of this month. After that four-game winning streak, we've gone on a three-game losing streak. Good year for rookies. That's always a good thing. Um, beat Carolina. Beat Buffalo. Uh, Tim Fleischer, Hartford. Uh, ooh. It's now December 1st, blah, 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 blah. So, after two months... We're 9-14-1. When Lundquist came back, which was around this day, we've been 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, and 4. So we haven't been too, too bad, but without him, we're not good. Um, hmm. It is December. We'll go up to Chris. We'll go up. Oh, wow. We actually have a New Year's Day game against the Avalanche? Huh? 
I had two questions. A, where would we play it? If anything, I'd think like Yankee Stadium or the Mets Stadium. And B, why Colorado? Anywho, just finish out the year, see how we do. Uh, Pablo Bushnevitz has been injured with a strained hamstring. He's going to be out about 10 days. I'm sorry to, I'm sorry, Courtney. Um, hmm. Um, yeah, let's dress up, uh, Carson Kuhlman and bring him in. Um, excellent. Carson Kuhlman, you'll go exactly where Bush was everywhere. Uh, don't mind me. All right, so we have Carson Kuhlman uh, on our second line left wing. Um, doesn't affect overall, any, so that's not too too bad at all. Carson Kuhlman, we signed him in the offseason. Um, literally just, if we need him, we need him. If not, oh well. Um, yeah, he's, in real life, he's not bad, but other than that, eh. Hartford player Dave Velarde post concussion and they'll be out in two months. Oof, I'm sorry to hear that, Gabe. A win against the Capitals, so progression. Bushnevitz is back! Yay! Carson, how'd you do in like two games? Two games, one goal. That's all I can ask for. Hmm. Ah, he will actually fit well on the fourth line. Actually, Reed, how are you doing? 27. One and three. Um, Christopher N, how you doing? One and seven, three and four for Chris Terry. So Chris Terry's actually not doing half bad. Um, Reed Boucher, you'll be replaced with uh, Mr. Bushnevitz. Thank you. 5-2 loss against Florida in Florida for 20 people. He beat the Kings, so we can't be that bad. We beat, F shut out Florida. And we won our West Coast. Hello, Columbus? Henrik Lundqvist. And a fifth and a sixth for a fourth and David Savard. I don't know what to think about this trade. And no. Because unless we can call Sogard up, which I don't think we can because he's in the... Uh, uh, what they call what you call it? Uh, the Canadian, the juniors. Um, I think we just beat the Wild for nothing. Um, a third and a fourth for Sabiza and Tyler Pitlick. I'm gonna go with a no. No, it was six nothing. Oh Jesus! Next year's third, this year's fourth for this year's fifth. Next year's foot. No, I'm not taking Ron Hainsey on. Yay! We passed Christmas. Chris Kreider fractured. Ow. But yeah, that's not good. A fractured jaw will keep him out a little while, so Reed, you get to come in second line. Yikes. Okay, so that doesn't work well with chemistry, but at this point. Brendan Lemieux has a torn groin. That's not good. Now, we should have Boo Nieves? Yes, we do. Come here, Boo. Oh, cool. He actually evens out the, uh, playtime. And we lost 7-5 to five to Boston. Ah, oh, Chris Kreider's back! Lovely. Ah, uh, Reboucher! Ah, uh, Kreider, thank you. Alright, and we've hit the New Year's Day game against the 1917-5 Avalanche. And I don't know if you guys briefly saw it, but we are, as you would expect, the last in the Metropolitan Division. Oh boy, um, I always forget to go where standings is. Oh, cool. The Islanders are currently leading the Metro. The Boston Bruins are currently leading the entire league. Along with the Tampa Bay Lightning and Anaheim Ducks for some reason. 
Anywho, so we sit obviously dead last in the metro with 37 points. Uh, or no, not 37 points. 37. We have 35 points. Um, that is joint one, two, three, four, top five lowest pick. Yikes. With some unexpected teams there. Columbus, Calgary, Nashville, and St. Louis. I can understand LA because they fired their head coach and now they have Paul Bizonette's brother or whatever. Um, yeah, that's not good. I love how you can actually view the head coach. That is pretty cool. That is actually pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. Anywho. So, we're currently 17, 19, and 1 through 2020. Now we've hit 2021. Um... Yeah, this is not good. Our goal's four. Where are we in the league? Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh lowest in the league in goals. That's not good if you ask me. Um goals against, however, is this middle of the pack right there. And it's about middle of the pack, if you can tell by the bar on the right hand side. Um How's our power play doing? It looks like it's actually doing... Our power play is third in the league, though. How is our power play third in the league? And our penalty kill is top in the league. How is this possible? One of the lowest goal scorers... One of the, goal, one of the lowest goal scorers in the league. But the best penalty kill and... One of the best special teams. Huh. I don't get it. And Panarin has overtaken Bushnevitz. Um, Panarin, 34 and 37. Not bad at all. Kapokako, 31 and 37. Hopefully these two can stay healthy and, you know, get productive. The Jad, 27 and 37. Same for uh, Brady Skier. Let me know if you want me to trade him or not. Um, Philip Heedle, uh, He's not bad. Kreider, not bad. Even though we got injured for a few games. Truba, Bushnevich got injured for a few games. Lemuse and got injured. Um, Christian, no. Carson Coleman, 5 points in 12 games. That's not bad for him. Um, hmm. And Bushnevich doesn't have a single point. Lovely. Um, goalies, how's our uh, Prozatov? 3 and 4, that's not too bad. Granted, Jonas Johansson is not the greatest. And Prozatov is a 70 overall. Lovely. Um, and like Lundquist, 11, 6, and 1. We need him if we want to try and get, I don't want to say to the playoffs, but get somewhere near the playoffs. Um, yeah, this is going to be a fun January if the trade deadline, eh, as you can see, is in 56 days. Let me know what you want to do there. Um, hopefully, hopefully we turn it around and... I just want to thank you guys for watching this episode. That's where I'm going to end it right there. Um, wow, I'm a complete idiot. I didn't show you guys me saving it, as I always do. So I'm not trying to, like... Oh, I don't know. Try to cheat my way into a really good season, or cheat my way into a really bad season? Even though that would be terrible. Game save! So, we can go to the outro screen, which basically means thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and hope you have a great day.